my three reasons for why I think Trump is going to win this election this year. I think first and foremost, given the last four years, given what we've seen, it's safe to say that the American public, we're not really happy about the direction that this country is headed. Remember, this NBC poll showed that 71% of the country feels that we're on the wrong track. This is a real feeling among Americans, and a lot of that has to do with the current administration's handling of the economy, uh, immigration, and just crime in general. And despite what Kamala says about turning the page, most Americans aren't blind, and we know who is currently in the White House, and we know that a real change means evicting the current leaders in office and bringing in a fresh new team to take their place. The second reason why I think Trump will win is that every time we see Kamala, it just gives us more and more indications that she is completely fake. She is not able to articulate any coherent thought on any of her policy positions, even when she is given a pointed interview question. I mean, just think about all of the word salads that she's tried to serve us so far. And the third and last reason why I think Trump will likely win this election is that we cannot underestimate the red-blooded American's hatred for things that are unjust and unfair especially if that manifests into bullying of another person. Honestly, the entire left liberal campaign against Trump has been one big bullying session after another. First, just think about the character assassination that's been going on towards this man, calling him Hitler, a Nazi, and twisting his words all out of context. And then there's the conspiracy theories that they've been trying to push against him, like the phony Russian collusion hoax, or continuously trying to tie him to Project 2025 when he's already said he has nothing to do with it. And then comes all of the lawfare all of these forced trials that hypothetically wouldn't have taken place if Trump wasn't running for office. Like the case of the hush money accounting error, where the judge told jurors that they didn't even need to agree on what type of crime is connected to the accounting error for it to become a felony. And then there's a Georgia case with Fannie Willis, which is pretty much getting thrown out because the lead prosecutor Fannie is now likely to be disqualified. And so when you see all of this, I think the American people are starting to see how these cases were really unfair. And rather, they were just examples of the left weaponizing the justice system to attack their political opponent. And of course, you can't forget the assassination attempts, where all of this divisive rhetoric from the left has incited radical extremists to try to literally assassinate this man twice. And so honestly, at this point, you can feel it. You can just feel the entire Democratic Party trying to bully this one man into submission. It's like seeing that one kid on the playground getting beaten up by an entire gang of other kids just because they don't like his personality or the way he talks or the way he carries himself. Sure, he may not be the most politically correct kid on the schoolyard, but no one deserves to be ganged up on like this. And it doesn't look like they care to stop until this kid is beaten to the ground and not moving. The level of hatred and vitriol that this man has faced, if if you're any normal red-blooded American, you should see this and it should just rile up within you this immense sense of unfairness. And the kicker is, the person that they are bullying is someone that has good ideas on how to fix the state of our country. He's someone that wants to better our nation. And so to be honest, I think for the majority of us, at least I hope, I think that we see and feel this innate sense of injustice and bullying, especially to someone that wants to help us, and we just want to see this stop. And so for that, and the other reasons that I mentioned before, I honestly think that the majority of the American people will pick Trump to be our next president. But you never know, I could be wrong. After all, I'm just some random person on the internet. But hopefully by tonight, or at least by early tomorrow morning, we'll know exactly where we stand on this.